Anna and Esam Kyun, victory in the Kyun, and you shall have it. As a member of the Ben Hasrath, you are required to obey and make those that do not. There is no want under the Kyun, you do what you're told. The Ben Hasrath makes sure of that, whether you like it or not. The Kunari waste nothing. When you were ordered to leave Parvolan and travel to the winter, your emotions were of mixed nature, but what choice do you have? There is nothing quite as terrifying as the thought of being pursued by a Talvashoth who has been paid to kill you, which is precisely why you're excellent at what you do. You came to Tevinter some time ago to fulfill a contract. What made you stay is the abundant work that is to be found here for someone of your stature and skill. While most Tevinter treat you like an exotic animal, most are also too afraid to make a move, and as such you enjoy considerably more respect than some others. The war between Parvolan and the Tevinter Imperium has been going on for generations, with neither side making any significant progress. You are among the unlucky survivors of this bloody conflict, taken from your people and sold off at auction to be paraded around like a prized possession. Your master, while a kind person, is still a Tevinter at heart and thus you are forced to obey or be punished. We are the last Elven, never again shall we submit. Although almost unheard of, your clan is among the few that roam the Imperium almost exclusively, with the occasional excursion into the Anderfels. While in many other nations the Dalish avoid human contact, the hunters of your clan actively seek out small human camps and settlements to scavenge for food and supplies during the night. While usually peaceful, should the occasional Shemlin life be lost, it's not a great loss compared to what they did to your people. Born into slavery, your mother died during childbirth, leaving you and your father to fend for yourself. Although tragedy seemed to haunt your family at every step of the way, you were able to free yourself and your father and become citizens of the Imperium. Now, just a few years later, you managed to make a living as a merchant while enduring the incessant mockery of the upper classes as well as human peers. The plight of elves is well known across Thedas, but perhaps hardest for those in the Imperium. Enslaved, beaten, many even sacrificed, the life of an elf is regarded as little more than something to be used and then discarded by most. You are among these unfortunate people. Born into a family of slaves, your father was used to fuel a blood magic ritual shortly after your birth as punishment by your master. Now you and your mother are forced to serve the very man that bled out your father before your eyes. Abandoned by your own kin in Ozamar and forgotten about by the world up top, for centuries the once great dwarven capital was left to fend for themselves. But unlike it was declared thousands of years ago, Karsha Rock was never lost to the Darkspawn, weakened on the brink of destruction, but never beaten. Centuries have passed, and now it is finally time for the might of this once great Tyke to emerge. Kalnath par Kalak, Kalnath Gat Partas. For generations, your family has been working in the Ambassadoria in Menrathas, overseeing the lyrium trade between the Imperium and Ozamar. While not quite as glorious a profession as defending your home from the Darkspawn, it is no less vital. Like your father took over when his father resigned, soon it will be your turn to take over the position that has brought wealth and prosperity to not only your family, but also what remains of the Dwarven Kingdoms. While the Shaperate and the Imperium are all too happy to use Lyrium when and how they want to, they conveniently forget about the way it is acquired and transported. The Lyrium trade, while a steady source of income, is not a secure profession by any means. And although you've been in the smuggling business for years, it has never been more dangerous. Rising tensions with the Kunari and the recent defeat of Corypheus by the Inquisition have Lyrium in high demand everywhere. Once, not many years ago, your family was well respected within the upper echelon of the Imperium, 
And although you were not born with the gift of magic, you enjoyed a comfortable life and good upbringing. Rising through the ranks has earned your family enemies, however, and in the end they fell prey to the deadly intrigue of high society. Beaten and humiliated, you were given a fate worse than death, sold off at the slave market like the people that once served you. Twenty years ago, your father was granted his freedom as a final act of kindness by his dying master. Although he was a free man, able to leave Tevinter if he had chosen to do so, he stayed and built a new life for himself and his wife, whom he met shortly after. You are born into this family of former slaves in the hope that one day you will take over their forge and perhaps even bless the line with a mage child. To be born a mage is to be born lucky. Since your birth, those words were ingrained into your upbringing. Through sheer luck, you were born as a mage to non-mage parents and lifted the family into the latent class of the De Winter Imperium. Although the families around you shunned yours at first, they have come to realize that under your leadership, great alliances might come to life. This family is your responsibility, much to the anger of your two older siblings.